Mr. Goodman? Present. Ms. Lassane? Here. Mr. Oates? Here. Mr. Rodriguez is unable to be here this evening. And, um, and Mr. Velez also. Mr. James Vickery? Here. Mr. Powell? Here. A quorum is present. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Matt Lee from New Jersey School Boards Association. He will present the district board goals and strategic planning. Welcome, Mr. Lee. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, is it okay if I can? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Excellent. So we can so hear much. you better. <laughs> Sorry? We can hear you better. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, so I'm very happy to be here to present to you the results of our district strategic planning process, which we participated in throughout the winter. Uh, I'm also happy to report that I am finally back in front of a board in person after 15 months of complete disruption in my regular routine. So uh, quite happy to be here, as I said. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about the process that we undertook in order to create the strategic plan. We're going to talk about what our outcomes were for strategic plan. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about what are our next steps as we move forward. So uh, before we begin, it's certainly incumbent upon us to recognize all the people who contributed to the success of this project. As you can see, um, it starts with the Board of Education who decided that it was a, a very important task to tackle, to give some direction to the administration from a long-term perspective as opposed to an annual perspective. And um, you know, the board is recognized here for their contributions to this project. Our administrators as well, Mr. Sanchez, Ms. Marks, Ms. Parchment, Ms. Zeno, the interim BA. And then of course, most importantly, when the board decides to take on something like this, it's all about creating a dialogue with the community and learning about what the community's priorities are for their education. And uh, many, many of our um, community members participated in this project and our thanks go out to them as well. Some of you who participated in this project may recognize this graphic we uh, started out all of our um, meetings with. And this is really sort of a, a aggressive build on the activities that we undertook, which all led to this complete strategic plan. We start at the bottom with commitment. And as you can see, we have commitment up the side as well. And that stands for the board's commitment at the base to undertake this endeavor and then the commitment of all our community members as we work through the process through each of the three meetings. And as we see um, on the right side of this graphic, each of the meetings and the purposes of those meetings are denoted. So we see meeting one where we talked about information we got from Mr. Sanchez, the state of the district as it is right now. And then we as a group met in small um, breakouts in order to identify the strengths and the challenges of the district as a baseline for how we're going to proceed going forward. Meeting two, we did a little bit of unbounded thinking about what it is that we hope to accomplish for the district in the next five years. And that was our visioning exercise. And then at the last meeting, we actually identified our goals and objectives with very specific um, areas that were defined by the first two meetings and specific tasks underneath each to help accomplish each of those goals. And then finally, the action plans, which are the purview of the administration, are how we basically put the, the real details in and the timings and things of that nature so that we can fully realize the plan that, laid, that has been laid out by our efforts. As we started out with each of the meetings, we like to remind ourselves of our um, mission, plan, mission statement, I should say. Um, mission statements are where we typically define who we are and what we hope to accomplish. And uh, it's always a good idea to have a, a quick refresher on that before you start out moving forward, just recognizing who we say we are now. 
So as we talked about um, our strengths and challenges, and I would like to um, just mention at this juncture that each of our meetings uh, included a Spanish language component to them, which was very important to the administration that we hear that section of our community. And uh, they were very enthusiastic participants in the process throughout. And we do want to acknowledge their contributions to this. So we see here some of the strengths that we um, identified in our meeting one and some of the challenges that we identified as well. So we asked folks to say, what are the things that are working here? What are the things that are our strengths and things we can leverage moving forward? And then we also said, where are some of the places where we can improve, where we can um, identify spe specific activities in order to help things move better and faster? Meeting two, again, breaking out into small groups, we asked our uh, group members to think about a sort of what if scenario. The what if scenario said, well, what if you went on to Google one day, Google leaders in education, and you came up with a article about Hackensack public schools and why the Hackensack public schools are leaders in 21st century education. And we asked them to create a article title and some of the key visions in that article that helped us to accomplish that and basically win an award for being a leader in education. And you can see some of the titles of the articles that our groups came up with. From our last meeting, uh, sorry, this is the second part of our second meeting. These are some of the visions in addition to the, uh, the article titles that we came up with. And these are, um, again, things that you're going to recognize as themes when we move on to our goal areas. At the end of meeting two, we started to think about common threads. So we had a list of strengths, we had a list of challenges, and we had a list of vision. So where we are and where we want to get to. What were the things that kind of tied a lot of those themes together? These were the common threads that we saw throughout our discussions with our groups. From that list of common themes, we narrowed it down to five goal areas. And as you can see before you, these goal areas are very much reflective of those things that were identified in our first two meetings. And that's really the purpose of this meeting is to, to develop these large theme areas under which we can operate in our strategic plan. So here's how we go through each of the goal areas. In meeting three, we asked each of the groups to go away, working under the goal area that they most felt drawn to, and to create first a goal statement that define what we wanted to accomplish in that area, and then a list of objectives that would help us to reach that final goal. And as you can see here, I'm not gonna read everything to you, of course, but our goal statements, I think are very important to, to review right now. So our first goal under building, empowering, and engaging the community was to empower the Hackensack and Sending Districts communities so that everybody is engaged and has a vested interest in the development of the whole child. Second goal, state-of-the-art community-based schools. This goal statement read to develop state-of-the-art sustainable community-centered schools that provide all students with a high education, quality education, including the necessary resources to support families. Goal number three, access to equity and inclusivity. Goal statement reads, to create equity for all students to have access, opportunity, and voice so that they are valued, respected, and included in all aspects of the curriculum, policies, and the school community education environment. The next goal, educating the whole child. To create an environment which maximizes students' social and emotional growth, mental and physical health, academic development by educating the whole child for educational and societal success. And our last goal, create, creating lifelong learners, 
to create a lifelong learning environment so that all stakeholders recognize that learning is an ongoing and enduring process. So those are our five goal areas. And as you can see underneath, we have very detailed objectives underneath each of those. And those are what move us to the next stage. And that is developing the action plans. It's very important to remember that our strategic plan is a five-year plan. And it's um, expected that each year going forward, pieces of that five-year plan will be realized such that they build on each other and in the end, uh, deliver what we had expected out of each of those goals. The components of an action plan, as you can see from this uh, sort of uh, straw man, if you will, is that we identify the major activities that are gonna go on in these goal areas. We're gonna talk about what resources we might need, whether that be staff or financial resources, or professional development or things of that nature. And we're gonna talk about the timelines. What are we gonna do in terms of year one, year two, et cetera. And then certainly the success indicators. How are we gonna measure if we're moving forward at the pace that we hope to, and are we on target to achieve what we had hoped to do from the beginning? And very important thing to remember about an action plan. If you all remember back to March 2020, everything that you had hoped to accomplish all of a sudden got a little bit of a monkey wrench thrown into it. And you should expect that things like this can happen from time to time in your plan as well. Things change in a political environment, legal environment, resource environment, all along this five-year plan. So, it's important that you realize that this can be a living, breathing document that you can revisit frequently, measure the success of, and adjust where necessary. And I just want to leave you with one quick thought here, and it's a uh, quote by Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Mm. So that is our wrap up on the strategic plan. In a normal time period, I would have brought with you, a, brought with me a stack of uh, booklets, but we have already had those delivered to the Board of Ed office. And those are available uh, if you have, haven't already received them as board members. Um, and uh, I wish you luck as you uh, set out to accomplish all that you dreamed about. And certainly, I'm always available to help you if you have questions going forward about this plan. Any questions? Well, I thank you all for your attention. Very happy to be in Hackensack for my first day out again. <laughs> and uh, again, you know, I'm always available if you have my contact information it's very easily on the website or from the Zeno or Mr. Sanchez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.